What up, what up, y'all? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Tapping back in with another one, guys. Got some news topics to get off into real quick. Make sure to tap in. Let's talk. But first up, man, Kwame Brown. I'm sure y'all been seeing all the ish going on back and forth. Him going at uh, Matt Barnes, Charlemagne the God. And with Matt Barnes, this ain't nothing new, man. This dude's been caught up in all kinds of uh, stuff for quite some time. If you guys remember years back... He was beefing with the game's homie, A.I. Ravante Rose, where <laughs> they were saying, dude, sm- A.I. smashed um, Kwame's wife. Like, it's been it, it's been some other ish with, with him. But Kwame Brown is, like, really jumping into this uh, YouTube platform. Like, if y'all look, he just dropped another video. Look, 18,000 views in 10 minutes. You know what I mean? So from former top round draft pick i forget what what where exactly he went in the draft but i know it was it was high up there you know what i mean for all the you know the heavy nba fans y'all can tap in um you know and comment on that but from from that star athlete to now these youtube streets it's really taken off for him you know what i mean like this one stop talking about me to me it's wild you know it seems the people always love controversy this ain't nothing new we've been known this let me know what y'all think about this beef with these guys going back and forth over the past few days. And also, guys, make sure you tap in to Alias. You know, for those who rock with Jay Coffee Talk, y'all already know who your boy Alias is. He's been covering this ongoing um, situation with Kwame Charlemagne and Matt Barnes. Go hit Alias's channel. I'll pin a link if y'all ain't already subbed to him. You know, he does shoot tube content. He does some great music. Uh, me and him do our podcast together. He's got his own podcast where, uh, you know, on IG Live, like he's doing a lot of things. He's working hard. So uh, go rock with him for more coverage on this situation. But I uh, just had to share that like 18K in 10 minutes of, of premiering the video. That's wild. So we know this ish ain't going to stop anytime soon. You feel me? Next up, man. Um, this is interesting to me and it, y'all might've seen in my community post. I said, yo guys, what gangster movies, what, what gangster, uh, TV shows, crime dramas are you guys into? And y'all see who's in the middle there. Um, Marlo from the wire, real life name, Jamie Hector, right? Great actor. Uh, has been in a lot of great stuff, but something else I like to make content about is like binge watching TV shows, good movies. You know what I mean? I always let y'all know on the J Coffee Talk channel, guys, we tap into mad different topics. You know what I mean? And it's all about tapping in with you guys, the people. But um, this is something I'm trying to blog more on, like TV shows, movies and whatnot. So comment. Let me know your guys' favorite shows. Like, are y'all watching uh, Godfather of Harlem? City on a Hill is another really good one about uh, Boston back in uh, the early, late 80s, early 90s. A lot, like a, a good crime drama, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, they got a new show coming out. These guys, this lineup here you see on the left is John Bernthal. Y'all probably remember him from Wolf of Wall Street. Um, what was he in that? Was that called The Accountant or whatever with uh, Ben Affleck? Um, he was in The Punisher, you know what I mean? Dude's been in a lot of good stuff. That Shot Caller, that prison movie, everyone, uh, that was a real popular movie. But him, Jamie Hector, a.k.a. Marlo, and Josh Charles are on a new HBO series that's going to come out. And this one sounds interesting to me. And it's also made by the same individuals that made The Wire. The same team that brought you The Wire is bringing you this one. And it's called... Uh, what's it called, my bad, y'all? We own the city. Yeah, we own the city. And it's about uh, Baltimore once again. And it's about the Baltimore Police Department Gun Track Task Force, which, uh, you know, I, I'm hearing had a lot of corruption, drug scandal, all kinds of stuff went down. And it's going to be like a, a, a mini series. I think it's only going to be like six episodes or something, but it's coming on HBO. A while back, shout out my moderator, Murder Man, and one of the videos i think we were talking about the wire in the show the corner got brought up you know what i mean like the corner in a sense kind of birthed the wire i think you know i believe that was probably from the team behind the wire as well because it was a lot of the same people in both shows it's wild with hbo guys if you go watch a lot of hbo shows it's a lot of the same actors like if you get in if you're an actor 
and you get a gig on an HBO show, chances are you're going to get a lot more work. I don't know if y'all ever caught that from Oz to the Sopranos to um, uh, my bad to the wire to a lot of other ones. You feel me? HBO like I don't know what it is. They like to stay with people they know, I guess. But anyways, this show sounds dope. Uh, hit the comments. Let me know if y'all already heard the show. You're waiting on it. You're watching for it. Um, also, um, and or if you're familiar with what we're talking about, the real life events, the Baltimore PD gun track task force, you know, um, in one of my lives the other night, someone was talking about the Rampart scandal. Um, that That's another uh, obviously uh, really deep um, event, uh, series of events, uh, you know, with uh, police corruption, like a lot of people only. To, you know, think of Biggie and Tupac when they think of Rampire Scandal, but there's so much ish that went down with all that. You feel me? So tap in. Let's talk about this. And once again, guys, comment your favorite shows, your favorite movies. They don't just got to be crime dramas and whatnot. They could be comedies or whatever. It's something I want to make content about. So let me know if uh, if that's something that interests interests you guys. And then the last topic that we got to get into real quick, right? Jake Paul, we were just talking about him the other day, you know what I mean? The game's calling out Jake Paul, you know what I'm saying? The game was more or less kind of trying to eat off Jake Paul's name. He's thirsty, McGursty, you know what I mean? Uh, Pockets is hurting, bank accounts is getting low, you know what I mean? Everyone's coming to collect those civil suits they won against the game. Um, So he's trying to jump on the Jake Paul clout train, right? And Jake Paul, uh, you know, Logan's going to fight Floyd. Jake snatching hats. This guy's always in the news, right? But we got to give this guy some props because peep this. It looks like Triller, you know what I mean? Those boxing events that he's been doing, that's going to be put on hold for a while because this man just there, you know, this is the way it's being reported, is following in the footsteps of Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao is signing a multi-fight deal with Showtime Boxing. This is big news, I think, right? And, um, you know, a lot of times when we've talked about Jake Paul, I'm like, because, guys, I always try to let y'all know when I'm not super knowledgeable about something. You know what I mean? Uh, when it comes to uh, boxing, uh, I love the sport. Uh, you know what I mean? NFL is, like, my favorite sport. You feel me? But, like, I-, I watch boxing. I've watched it a lot over the years. But I'm not going to front. I don't know everything about that sport. So that's why I'm always asking a lot of the real fight fans, like, yo, is Jake Paul really nice like that? You know what I mean? A lot of people say, yo, we've only seen him fight people who really can't fight like that. But apparently, uh, there's be a lot of stock being put into uh, Jake Paul's abilities. You feel me? Because Showtime signed, signed, signed him, my bad. I mean, what do y'all think? Does that not really say anything about his abilities? Is Showtime just, you know, jumping on the hype train? You know what I mean? Is that is that what they're seeing, the reality star aspect of this? Or are they like, no, nah, this kid is a for real fighter. But regardless, I feel like we got to give this dude props. You know what I mean? Whether you think he's type corny or you're not into a lot of the stuff Jake Paul does. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I am. I'm just saying this dude, you know, uh, blew up on YouTube. He got into the boxing thing and has had a lot of success uh, in that. Is you know, and then now Showtime signing them to a real deal. Like all the fans out there and the people who, like I said, are really knowledgeable about boxing. Does Jake Paul got us like a solid career ahead of him? What do y'all think? You know what I mean? Uh, Murder Man. Once again, shout out to my moderator, Murder Man. He's a he's a fan of what Jake Paul's got going on. You know what I mean? Um, also, you know, Cleveland, they're repping the same city. But this is big news. I really think this is. Did y'all see this happening? I really didn't. I really didn't. So let's talk about all these comments below. Oh, one more thing about uh, this whole wire thing, too. Uh, Marlo is going to be playing a detective in this. Jamie Hector, dude who played Marlo, he's going to be playing homicide detective. And it's kind of wild. We've seen him on the wire, right, as the ruthless Marlo. You know what I mean? Who is all about his hustle, all about his criminal enterprise, his empire that he built. He He wasn't like... He was cold-blooded when it came to to the streets. He didn't give a fuck about nothing, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's crazy seeing him play a cop. He's going to be playing a cop on this, which we have not seen yet. But he also played a cop on that show, Bosch. Hit the comments and let me know if y'all ever watched 
Bosh. But uh, that's all I got, guys. I'm going to end this one. Let's discuss all these topics below. If you're new to the channel, guys, the J Coffee Talk, I thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We pump content out every day. We talk about music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. And like I said, guys, let me know if content about uh, you know, uh, TV shows, movies, and whatnot interest you. It's something I want to blog more on. You know what I mean? Um, and guys, go hit up Alias's channel for, uh, you know, he's got, like I said, he's he's keeping up on this whole Kwame Brown thing. So I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. More content coming later. I'm gone, guys. Peace.